A little more coffee, Mr. Bond? Thank you. This plate of eggs and bacon is delicious, by the way. Well, thank you. I'll relay that compliment to the chef. Ah, Wapa Pete. Here to tell me my car is ready, I assume? It's Mojave. But, yes, I'm here to tell you about the car. Unfortunately, I'm not here to tell you it's ready. Then, uh, what are you here to tell me? That the car isn't ready. When will it be ready? Well, it's not so much that the car can't be ready. It's just that the only road out of town is closed from a landslide. When will the road reopen? It won't be reopened until tomorrow. So I'm stranded in this town. Stranded is a bit negative of a word. But you are stuck here, yes. Well, that's just great. I'll need to call Tinseltown and give them the bad news. I actually took the liberty of letting them know the situation. We haven't heard from them, but I'm sure they'll understand these are outstanding circumstances. These circumstances are indeed quite outstanding. Well, what now? I'm afraid you're going to have to stay the night. Fortunately, there's a few decent options a city fellow like yourself may enjoy. I'm still too exhausted from the trip here to think about where to stay. I just need a bed to nap on. Well, well, well. A weary traveler stuck in town overnight. I've got a place that you could stay. Where would that be? My boarding house. The squeaky floorboard. I'm sorry, who are you? My name is Vincent Wolf. I am the squeaky floorboard's owner and proprietor. Nice to meet you. Vincent, leave him alone. Leave him alone? Why, he would be lucky to stay in my historic boarding house. It was the first place travelers could stay in Green Valley. Yes, you tell everyone that. Don't listen to him. I stayed there for the first two weeks I was in town, and by the looks of it, he hasn't dusted it since 1890. I take offense to that. You should, Vincent. Go back to your chicken fried steak. Mr. Bond, I recommend you stay at the Von Trassic Hotel. It's quite posh for such a small town. Thank you. I think I'll head there right now. All of these changing travel plans have really been tiresome. I can imagine. Go get some rest and come on back when you need a cup of joe. And speaking of cups of joe, would you like one, Mojave? No, I would not, Penny. You must have heard I got a job here and had to see for yourself. Wrong again. I came to see Mr. Bond and find Millie. Millie? Yes. Sweet woman. Blonde hair, big gardening hat. I assume you both must have met when she escorted Mr. Bond over here. Oh, the woman who dropped that Bond man off. She's real nice. Is she that mutual affection you mentioned before? That's right. Where is she? She's out back tending to her victory garden. And based on how flushed you are, I'm guessing you haven't told her about me yet? No. No, I have not. Well, why not? Are you embarrassed to have an ex from your past so close to your present? No. I'm just waiting for you to leave town so I don't have to bring you up at all. Well, I'm not going anywhere, Mojave Pete. So, you might want to consider telling little Miss Millie Fern about me before she finds out on her own. I don't need advice from the woman that led me astray twice. Hey, you must be forgetting how things ended in Amarillo. You left me, remember? It was more complicated than that, and you know it. But those days are in the past, Penny. Before the war, and before I met Millie Fern. Well then, by all means, go see her. But some late night, you're going to need a cup of coffee and a warm smile from me. And I'll be here for you. (laughs) Ha <laughs> ha! Keep dreaming, Penny. Keep dreaming.